just want to show a quick video of um, when you get things wrapped around your drum mulcher on the forestry mulcher, uh, whether it's fencing or, or barbed wire, uh, cloth, tarps, carpets, a lot of different things, whatever's wrapped around your uh, mulcher. Uh, yesterday I was out working a job and the last uh, few feet of my job I ran into a guy wire from a telephone pole and I know um, I actually use this stuff I carry a coil of it that's about 70 feet long uh, that I got from an old um, power lineman and um, this is great because it comes with the loops already wrapped around the ends so I've got two loops on that that's in case I need to tow my bobcat but uh, anyway he told me that this guy wire they use for telephone poles is rated at 17,000 pounds tensile strength so it's pretty tough wire um, so I had this wrapped around my drum uh, three times I was and I had a length of about five or six feet uh, that I snipped with my wire cutters off the telephone pole so I was able to bring my machine home but uh, and it was an abandoned pole that was actually was leaning in the trees in the woods with the guy wire just on the ground but um, anyway so what I have here to, for this particular case to get this kind of guy wire out is uh, I have amp steel blue rope and uh, you can get this anywhere but I've got this stuff on a um, come along also and this stuff is rated at about 6,000 pounds tensile strength and when you put a pulley on it you know you could pull 12,000 pounds with it so I've got a heavy duty come along that I use it for this is just extra rope that I have I've got a loop uh, that I will hook onto a chain what I did here and this stuff you know it's hard to get a grip on it you can't loop it or anything like that to tie a loop on it and if you don't have any kind of the kind of hardware like screws and U brackets and stuff like that what I did if you can see here is just tied a bunch of friction knots onto it and I didn't know how many friction knots it would need but uh, I put a little over a foot or so just to give it a try but I had enough rope I could have put three or four feet of friction knots on it and that thing would would not slide off but this was enough of uh, friction knots to um, pull this off my drum so I didn't have to cut it so this was just a much faster method than I do have a, a battery operated um, angle grinder with a cutting wheel on it and I've got uh, 24 inch bolt cutters and all that kind of stuff too but uh, this worked great just put some uh, stamp steel blue rope on it a bunch of friction knots had a hook on it threw a chain, chain around a tree and it just pulled right out so I didn't have to take the time to cut it and do all that kind of stuff so that worked great another thing that I use uh, this is called a grubber if you can see that I've only got one hand but it's spring-loaded and it opens up to, I think this one is uh, five or six inches it's got all these big gnarly teeth on it so this thing grabs on great to uh, especially like chain link fence or any kind of um, even uh, that kind of square fencing that they use for uh, livestock or livestock fencing uh, that stuff is pretty tough too but as long as you can find an end of it grab onto this grab onto a substantial chunk of it and uh, you can basically and tie a chain around it around a tree hooks onto it and just back the machine out at full power and it'll unroll whatever kind of mess you have on there so these are some of the things that I use and uh, save you some time when you're on the field. See ya.